Hippity hoppity, this is my property. Let's get right into the video. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to a brand new video. My name is Ruffle Rowlett, and we have a brand new rumor today, guys. Now, this was actually a rumor that was posted, like, maybe two days ago, give or take. Uh, it's been a while now since it was posted, but I thought we'd cover it because, well, it's an interesting rumor, ladies and gentlemen. And also, before we get into the rumor, guys, you guys are actually incredible. Like, I don't even know what to say, man. You guys are generally incredible. We've hit a thousand likes on all the videos that I freaking, like, asked you guys to do it on. Like, genuinely, I know that I maybe really shouldn't keep asking it because maybe it's too much to ask it on, like, four videos and three videos already was too much. But, guys, like, you are actually incredible. Thank you so much. A thousand likes on each one of these videos. It's honestly, like, mind-blowing. Like, no joke, it's literally mind-blowing, guys. Thank you so, 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 so much. For that, if you guys want to hit it on this video as well, it's up to you guys. It again would be really appreciated from the bottom of my heart. I would really, really appreciate it. Uh, it really would go a long way and it would be helpful. Uh, so if you guys want to do that, that's you know your own prerogative. You can go for it. You can do what you want, but it would be appreciated. My you know in my heart, I would really appreciate it, guys. But yeah, let's get right into this today's video, guys, and uh, let's get started. So this is the rumor we have in front of us, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, the, of course, the guy calls it totally not a fake leak, haha. Um, which again, you know, like I've seen a lot of stuff like that where they call it these sort of things, and I always make sure to mention it right because sometimes it can be an indication of it instantly being fake but also sometimes it can be a little bit of a jab and actually could be real information so you never really know with these sort of things you never you're never 100 percent certain um it's just i don't know man it's it's you don't know you don't really know like what you're really looking at right it's it's always a little bit 50 50 so i don't know but um hey We'll see what it's going to be like. We'll, we'll, we'll see how it's going to turn out. So, ladies and gentlemen, let's get into it. So, next trailer at Worlds. Now, Worlds is going on right now, if you guys didn't know. Actually, if we go here onto the Pokemon account. Also, I'm going to mention this in a second. This is a little bit of another topic here. But, uh, Worlds has actually just started. So, here it is, guys. Get ready, trainers. Uh, some exciting updates for the Pokemon Official 2020 Pokemon Championship Series season. Whether you're a long-time competitor looking to get started or just a spectator. You want to see the changes in the upcoming season. Uh, and also Worlds is getting started like very soon, so you know, that's 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 coming out. Actually, I think that's underway right now. I'm not sure if, yeah, it's a World Championship, yeah. So it's under the way right now, um, and uh, the world is going to have like, you know, things being shown off and stuff. We had this last year as well, um, so things will be shown off and that, that sort of stuff, so that's going on right now. Uh, but yeah, so that's what the first thing he mentions here. Now, I also want to bring up this right here. So apparently, they are doing some sort of like countdown. Um, and I was sent this by a viewer saying that they're doing like some sort of countdown with the games They did Pokemon Red then Pokemon Blue and I guess today is gonna be another game uh, I haven't seen if it has been like another game yet, but they were saying that that's what they were doing I'm not sure if it's true or not. Uh, I'm looking into it right now, but uh, I mean hey if it's some sort of countdown That'll be awesome. I'm not sure if it is though. I can't seem to find the other one uh, But I guess if they're starting from blue, maybe they'll do like red today or We'll see if anything happens there, but it's unlikely to be anything major. But yeah, that's that one though. So let's get into the rest of the rumor, shall we? Which is this right here. So it's going to show off uh, some of post-game facility, which has at least three buildings. I think it's a Battle Frontier, which would be great if that was true. And let's be honest, we will want to the Battle Frontier return for quite a long time, actually. I mean, let's be fair, it's, it's a must-have at this point, but they will never do it. Uh, but if this is true, that would be fantastic. So who knows? We'll have to wait and see. Uh, will, uh, wait, it will also talk about the starters. I think Game Freak knew that people would be pissed over the cut, so they kept all the starters and the most legendary so fans could have their favorites so this is very akin to a few other rumors a few other rumors have also said like all the starters are in the games like all every single starter is available um and that sort of stuff and apparently all, most of the legendaries uh, are in there which would make me happy because if those are gone like, it would be a little bit strange like at least like the starters was kind of like the base thing that should be available throughout the games right um so if those were gone that would be a little bit frustrating but you know or if they just kept like generation one and like generation eight starters in there it would be like really we couldn't we couldn't get like gen 2 gen 3 gen 4 but we could get Kanto again, like, come on, uh, it'll be one of those things, I know I'm really going after Kanto a lot, I know, it's just that, like, those are the only, like, generation, one, like, generation, uh, generational starters we've seen so far, are Gen 1, though, right, because we've seen Charizard show up, so that confirms all the other ones pretty much as well, because it would be strange if they only had, like, Charizard, and not its pre-evolutions, and also the other starters from Generation 1, so we can pretty much establish that Generation 1 has all the starters in there, right, but we don't know about any of the other ones, so it's a little bit strange, also, sorry about the Facebook notification, either way, let's get back to this, though, so Gen 2, and Gen 4 starters have new Gigantamax forms, while Gen while Gen 1 and Gen 3 uh, reuse Mega uh, forms, except Zard, I guess Charizard, who has a mix of X and Y, so that's a little bit strange. So 3 reuse Mega forms? That's... Gen 1 and 3 re... Okay, so Gen 1 and 3 reuse uh, uh, forms, except Zard. That would not make any sense. Would they really be that lazy to reuse the 3D models from, like, the Mega Evolutions? Like... 
like, understand, like, okay, that would genuinely be lazy if they did that, okay? If that is true, that's laziness. Because that's a mega form of the Pokemon. Why in the world would you make that Gigantamax form? Like, Gigantamax is a different thing. Like, right, yeah, sure, it's got a similarity in, like, concept, right? But it's a different feature. So why in the world would you re re reuse the model? That's just... Like, that inherently, if this, like, listen, this isn't probably, like, we don't know if this is true or yet, all right? So we can't be, like, here, I'm not trying to be negative, right? But what I'm saying is, if it is true, if this rumor, what it's saying here is true, that's just pure laziness. That you wouldn't make a brand new model for them, it's just strange. Why would you reuse the Megas? At the same time, also, like, sure, I'd love Megas, to, I want Megas to return, but I wanted the feature of Megas to return as what it is, right? And with the Megas themselves. But if you're making a brand new feature, Gigantamaxing, the least you can do is to make brand new forms for all those Pokemon. Sure, we all love Mega Charizard and, you know, X and whatnot, and, you know, some of the Megas. But, like, if you're already going to be, you know, making a brand new feature called Gigantamaxing and Dynamaxing, I would expect there to be a brand new version of these Pokemon. If you want to do them with this feature, make a new model for that, right? Like, make a brand new looking Charizard and stuff. Like, I've seen fans make some really cool designs, so I would really, like, I hope that's what they would do, and I hope this is fake, so, yeah, but, uh, maybe there's some of the good stuff in here that can, you know, make it up for that, so, so far, the Battle Frontier stuff, that actually, go that, that makes up for most of everything, uh, so here it is, next part, so, there's a new post office in the game, which, I'm not sure what that's meant to, you know, imply, but okay, uh, there are in, uh, there are Pokemon centers where the cafe, uh, cafe was in Sun and Moon, this is where you redeem mystery gifts, alright, as you can get stamps of Pokemon you catch, literally just Sugimori are PNGs, which can be used in the, uh, pick feature, returning from Sun and Moon, or the picture feature, or like, you know, like, taking photos, uh, the EXP share is given at the same time as Pokeballs. I don't know if it can be turned off. Fair enough. I like the wait. I like the Smash Spirit Board. There will be events on weekends to get raids for uh, for more starters, legendaries, etc. And they have a higher shiny rate. So I'm gonna be honest. This is a fantastic thing if this is true. This is actually awesome because I've wanted events stuff in Pokemon because if there is events in this game, I'll be doing every single one of them, okay? Because like that's the one thing the Pokemon Go community has an advantage over as over us like mainline gameplay uh, like players, right? Because I don't play Pokemon Go. I got my phone over here charging, but like I don't play like, you know, Pokemon Go. What did I just do? I don't play Pokemon Go much, okay? So it isn't really my forte to sit down and play Pokemon Go. Um, but I do enjoy the mainline games, right? And but the problem with the mainline games is that once you finish the game and if there is a shitty post game like for example let's go had a really bad post game you got nothing to do whereas like you know all the games had other post game stuff to do you know what i mean if you have a game that doesn't have a good post game then like what could make that up or if you've already done all the post game stuff then you know having events keeps the longevity of the game going right because like all you can do once you've gotten done with the post game is like you know well post game shiny hunting and post game like you know wi-fi battling right those are the only two other things you can really do on a consistent basis if you know we exclude all the other stuff maybe that wouldn't be there usually like you know battle frontier usually isn't there and like, you know, Game Corner and that sort of stuff. But if we exclude all those out of the equation, right, and we look at just the base two things, like Wi-Fi battling and, and Shiny Hunting, they're kind of like, eh, you know, uh, like, they're fun. They're definitely fun. I'm not saying that they're bad things. I'm just saying that, like, you know, they, they're just kind of like the same thing, right? If you had events like this, where you can catch, like, uh, starters from raids and, like, you know, legendaries, like, you know, oh, we have, like, a legendary raid that's popping up with, like, Shiny Rayquaza. Like, that's what's happening right now for Pokemon Go. They have Shiny Rayquaza. Like, what if we had that for an event? Like, you had to go in there with a few friends. And it's a Gigantamax or Dynamax, like, Rayquaza, and you have to, like, you know, with your friends, take it down and catch it. That actually sounds awesome. And having that, like, with a higher Shiny rate also is just fantastic. Honestly, it would be... I, I, I can't even tell you how awesome that would be. Like, that is something I wanted for so long, is event stuff in the games. Like, this sort of things, it, like, community events. It's I've always wanted that, and I really hope they do do it. So, next thing. Most of the Pokemon that were cut already had ugly uh, idle animations. Uh, Swellow, so I'm not sure what that meant. Uh, Pokemon that were cut already had ugly idle anima animations. Swellow, I'm not sure what that's meant to mean. I mean, Swellow was like, you know kind of like floating, like most of the, the flying Pokemon, for some reason, they had the flying idle animation, which was used for the flying animation, like, uh, featured from, like, X and Y or whatever, which, the battle, like, flying battles, whatever, like, it was such a strange thing, but they didn't keep the, the grounded idols, but they kept the flying idols, which is really weird, not sure why they would do that, but, oh well, uh, this gen will have more Gen 2 pandering, there's also some Gen 1 stuff too, hey, Gen 2 pandering, I'm on board, brother, it's my favorite gen, I have no problem, dude, Gen 2 needs some love, brother, Gen 2 needs some love, man, definitely on board for that, okay, you know, and hey, okay, on that shit, my boy, hell yeah, brother, hell yeah, I am so on board for that, dude, now, this gen will have more than uh, Gen 2 conjuring, uh, one of the later towns has a girl who plays uh, a Spirit of City theme on a piano, she has a walking uh, furret in her room, okay, I don't know if this is a reference in, uh, is coincidental, that sounds just like, uh, this is, 
This doesn't seem realistic to me. This seems like BS. Uh, version exclusive gym, but then they, they've done meme stuff like this before and like, you know, featuring that's This is this happened in the past, so anything's possible. Now, version exclusive gym leaders can be met in other versions in their homes. Don't think they can be battled. Fair enough. Uh, so, when the next Gen 8 game drops, they will have a patch with more Pokemon for compatibility. I would hate if that's actually true, uh, because that's the one thing I predicted that if they do do that, that would be pissing me off. If they made like a Pokemon, sh you know, Pokemon like Castle or something, like the third version of Gen Generation 8, and that game features all the Pokemon, it would be a little bit jarring to me, but it is what it is, though. Uh, Titar and uh, Dralgon both have Gigantamax forms, which would be great, that sounds awesome. Uh, some flying Pokemon have uh, have new idle animations, where they stay grounded, Charizard, but Dynamax birds are always airborne. Uh, okay, so, uh, that's strange. Uh, Blastoise shoots Hydro Pump out of its... No, okay, now you know it's just a meme. Now you know this man is just memeing, dude, come on. It doesn't do this for Water Gun or Ice Beam. After M uh, Milo and Nessa, you can take on the a third, a third and seventh gyms in any order. That would be actually great if it's true. They always have the same number of mons as you and also scale to your gym badges. That would be fantastic, honestly. Speaking of, it's much harder to use Pokemon that outlevel your badges, probably so you can't just chuck quick balls in the wild. So that actually seems pretty realistic in, in, in general. That actually seems like a pretty realistic you know, way of doing it. So I don't know, this rumor has got like a lot of things I like, a lot of things I dislike. Like the Gen 2 pandering would be great. Uh, Gig Gigantamaxing like for Titar and Graldon sounds awesome. Um, the Battle Frontier type area sounds great, but then you have an issue like with like, like something's just really strange to me. But I don't know, guys. Let me know in the comment section down below. I'm kind of like 50 50 on this. Like, I think it's most likely fake, but like, what am I like? My feelings on how I like it is like a 50 50. Like, some things I like, some things I dislike. It's kind of like a little bit, eh, it's a little bit up and down, right? But yeah, ladies and gentlemen, that's going to be the end of the video, though. If you did enjoy it, then drop a like down below. Ladies and gentlemen, if we can hit a thousand likes on this video as well. That'd be bloody fantastic. I don't, I don't think we can on this one because it's, that'll be four in a row, and that honestly. Like, it would be a bit strange having to, like, you know, try to hit this every single time. But if we do hit it, guys, I really do appreciate it, though. Thank you so much for watching the video. If you did enjoy it, drop a like down below. Make sure to subscribe, and I'll catch you on the next video. Have such a great day, and bye-bye, ladies and gentlemen.